All right, so before we talk about power and efficiency, let's talk about what energy is. We've talked about a couple different types of energy, specifically um, potential and kinetic, and by potential I mean gravitational potential energy, uh, although we did allude to other types of potential. But let's firm up like what we mean by the term energy. As always, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, one to two sentence summary, and your follow-up questions on Google Forms. So energy, uh, the working definition we had before was the ability to cause changes in motion, uh, temperature, or position. Um, and so that's what we started with. And we kind of talked about kinetic energy being the idea of motion or energy of motion and potential energy being the idea that if you have something that could eventually start moving because it's being pulled on or things like that, um, then that's potential energy. And we won't talk too much about temperature right now, but we'll get into that next unit. But that was a working definition. That's not the official definition. So the official definition of energy is the ability to do work. We talked about work as kind of a change in energy. So some people don't like this definition because it seems kind of circular. Work is a change in energy and energy is the ability to do work. So it kind of just repeats on itself. Um, so sometimes I like to think about work as the, or energy as the ability to cause change, change in something. Um, and you can specify what that is, but really if you're causing change, you probably have energy. All right, so things that can have energy, both living and non-living things can have energy. So plants, animals, fungi, bacteria, all those things, they can have energy, uh, as well as non-living things, so things that aren't alive, so minerals, rocks, soil, air, lights, things like that as well. Energy in physics is not a personality trait or a feeling. You may say, oh, I feel like I have tons of energy right now, uh, and physically speaking, you may have slightly more, but it's more of a mental state, and it's not exactly a physics um, way of viewing energy. While that's perfectly valid within psychology, uh, it's not the physics way of doing things. All right, so common types of energy. Now keep in mind that although I'm listing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven here, uh, it's not necessarily clearly defined. And actually some of these overlap a little bit and things like that. But different types of energy. So energy as a whole is kind of a concept or idea. And then we've got different types, such as chemical, nuclear, thermal, electrical, uh, electro, uh, magnetic, sorry, uh, light uh, or radiant energy, and then mechanical energy. And there are a few others we could put in here, and some of these, like I said, overlap. But I'm going to quickly walk you through what are the different types and what each of those are. So first, chemical energy, sometimes called chemical potential energy, is energy stored in molecular interactions. I'm going to leave it kind of general on that, but two common types that you deal with on a regular basis are food. Um, so all the energy we get to move is stored in kind of the chemicals or uh, molecules of food. And then batteries are another one. So there's some chemicals inside of these that uh, go through a change, and that's what gives us electricity. Nuclear energy is the process of either um, splitting or fusing two parts of an atom or two um, subatomic particles together, and as a result, it releases energy. So it's energy stored in the bonds of neutrons and protons is the easiest way to think about it. So examples uh, are nuclear fission, which is what our nuclear power plants are based on, and then nuclear fusion, um, instead of splitting these join together, and our sun is actually a great example of that. Thermal energy, sometimes called heat, uh, is the idea of energy from warmth. Uh, it's related to temperature, although not always directly linked to it, and we'll hint at that and talk about that a little bit more later. Electrical energy being a uh, like energy from electricity, which is moving charges, uh, or it can be energy stored between charges that are repelling or attracting each other. And we'll talk more about that later. Um, but here, common examples are just electricity. Magnetic energy, we already talked about the idea that magnets can attract or repel, um, at least briefly. So this would be magnetic potential energy is one way this is often said. Um, we're just going to call it magnetic energy for now, just to give you a sense of it. Radiant energy, or for you guys, more better known as light. It could also be called electromagnetic energy, uh, and it's energy in the form of light. Now, when I say light, as a physics teacher, I mean gamma rays, x-rays, ultraviolet light, infrared, our visible light, microwaves, um, and radio waves. So all of those are considered light. 
Now, in general, we sometimes just specify light as the visible spectrum. But what I'll tell you is gamma rays, x-rays, ultraviolet, infrared, all that stuff is made up of the same stuff as the stuff we see. And so that type of light. So that's why I've got the little radio symbol here. Another one we've been talking about a lot lately, mechanical energy includes kinetic energy, gravitational potential, as well as other forms of potential energy, and elastic energy. Uh, so in this case, there are a couple different types of uh, kinetic energy, different things we can see that have it. Um, so there's kinetic energy from movement in a straight line. There's rotational kinetic energy. Uh, wind is actually a form of kinetic energy, just the air molecules moving. Uh, sound is actually a form of kinetic energy. Earthquakes are as well. Gravitational potential energy is uh, that energy stored due to gravity. And so here, uh, our solar system is actually held together via gravitational uh, potential energy as well as just gravity in general. And then elastic we talked about a little bit before. That's it for this one. Three or more bullet points worth of notes. So one to two sentence summary and do your follow-up questions on Google Forms. I forgot one last addition here. Uh, the other images, so the image credits for all of the uh, energy images. That's it.